Welcome back to the queuiest days that you know. I don't like the way that this camera makes my stylus so slow. It's super lagging and real glitchy and just overall bad. And I hate it oh so much because it makes me sad. Welcome back, everybody. In case you don't know, that was a parody of a, a song from Game Grumps' uh, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker playthrough, I think, episode 9. Anyway, let's get to the questions. All right, first we'll start with the questions I got off my Tumblr. Um, if you could be part of a fictional world, which would it be and why? Hmm. See, it's hard to narrow that down because I watch a lot of cartoons and read a lot of, like, fantasy books. And by a lot, I mean I've read Harry Potter and that's about it. But, I mean, speaking of Harry Potter, I do love Hogwarts. That'd be a fun universe to be in. But, like, I don't know. There's also Adventure Time's world's pretty awesome. Steven Universe's is pretty awesome. I don't know. I guess just to name a few, those would be the ones. What made you want to start a YouTube channel? Um, I remember watching animations by people from way, way back in the day, and I know just recently when I discovered, like, Jaden Animations and The Odd Ones Out, I really wanted to do what they wanted to do, so there you go. I kind of have a knack for wanting to entertain people, plus, I mean, it's good drawing practice for me, so it's a win-win. So this person, uh, Guillermo Santos, is that how you pronounce that? I'm not sure. Uh, they left quite a few questions, so let me, uh, just cipher through these for a minute. Uh... My favorite musical is Pippin. Um, I've been listening to a lot of trap remixes lately by various different artists you can find on YouTube. Um, I've also been listening to the soundtracks to the video games, uh, Katamari Damacy, those little ones where you roll up stuff. Great soundtracks. Great for drawing, too. I don't know if this counts because I've known about this movie for a while, but I recently really got into this movie from the 70s called Raggedy Ann and Andy, A Musical Adventure. Um, it's about Raggedy Ann and Andy going on an adventure, and it's really dumb and stupid, and the pacing is awful, and there's too many songs, but it's um, animated by the guy, R Richard Williams is his name. He did The Thief and the Cobbler, he did the direction for the animation for Who Framed Roger Rabbit. So it's like this beautifully animated movie, but it's super slow, super trippy, and I don't know, I, it's a guilty pleasure of mine. I kind of want to do a video someday analyzing what is so bad about it, yet so fascinating, so yeah, there you go if you want to check that out. It's on YouTube. What do you hope to get out of this channel as a best-case scenario? Um... I mean, I would really love to get to know a lot of other animators here on YouTube. Uh, I made this channel because I wanted to, like, you know, just draw little stories about my life that I thought people would find entertaining. So, I guess I would love to be able to, like, maybe use some of this stuff, like, in the future, maybe when I'm trying to get a job in the animation industry, or maybe it'll just kind of be a jumping-off point. Who knows what the future holds? All I know is, for now, I'm just kind of enjoying doing what I'm doing, and that's just making these little videos for you all, so... There you go. Magdalena M here also had a couple different questions. Love your Undertale icon, by the way. Um, oh, thank you for voting me for Parent of the Year. What is your biggest fear inside YouTube or outside of YouTube? Um, I don't know if I have a biggest fear per se. I, I used to always say it was like abandonment or feeling lonely, but I feel like, especially once I started doing videos on here, I've kind of realized that I'm never really alone because I always have you guys and other people in my everyday life that, you know, I can just kind of talk to if I need to. Um, I guess in that case, my biggest fear would just be failure, and not being able to live up to what I think I have potential-wise, but I mean... I don't know, I don't want to get too deep about it. I don't have any, like, weird irrational fears, if that's what you mean. Except lightning. Do I watch Markiplier or Jacksepticeye? Oh, sorry. Markiplier or Jacksepticeye! Um, I, I, I do watch Markiplier from time to time. My friends really love him, and, of course, like, you know, he and Jacksepticeye have both collaborated with the Game Grumps on stuff. Uh, the Ninja Sex Party video for Cool Patrol featuring Zach Jack is so funny to me. I called him Zach, I'm sorry. But, I, I, yeah, I watch both of their stuff from time to time, more Markiplier than uh, Jacksepticeye, but, I mean, I, I just, I love the Game Grumps so much. I, I, I just, they're my favorites. Have I ever been to a concert? I went to a concert a year and a half ago at my uh, college for the band The Mowgli's. They had a hit song a few years back called San Francisco. Look it up. Great song. Um, I enjoyed the concert. It was a nice kind of like small-ish get-together, at least, you know, for a concert by a band that had a big hit on the radio. So it was kind of cool to see them live. Plus it was free. So, you know, win-win. 
Cheeky and Friends says, Do you still watch Demon Universe? And if so, who is your favorite character or song? Or do you like the direction of the show is going? If not, um, pfft, who watches Demon Universe? Um, to answer your question, I do. I watch Demon Universe. Um, my favorite character is slowly becoming Peridot more and more. I, I just love her so much. She's so great, and I love her redemption arc. Um, favorite song. I really, really liked, um, It's Over, Isn't It? when it came out. And currently, I really like What's the Use of Feeling Blue. My mom likes it, too, because she is a huge fan of Patti Lapone. I actually like the way the show is going, like, the direction it's going, and it's getting more serious. I know a lot of people are starting to complain that, like, you know, the characters are getting too, quote-unquote, problematic, or there's too many filler episodes, and it's like, whatever, man. Let them do their thing. It's a great show. I love it. Y'all should watch it if you don't. So, yeah. Cody Don Gaming 07 says, What does your face look like and where do you live? Um, my face looks like a face and I live where I live. <laughs> um, all kidding aside, I don't know, I'll do a face reveal someday and I live in America. Woo! Sierra Stats asks, How long does it take for you to make a video? Um, the entire process, I guess, takes about two weeks, but. Usually what happens is I write the script, and then I record some of the audio, and then I just completely drop it all together, and then I'm editing the audio, like, maybe less than a week before I'm supposed to post it, and then for the few weeks leading up to the day I'm supposed to post it, I am pretty much drawing all the pictures and editing the whole video together, so. Yeah, it shouldn't take me two weeks, but it always does, because I put off stuff. Will Dutton asks... Draw your favorite character from Avatar The Last Airbender and describe why they're your favorite. Also, as just a question, do you plan to do a video on how awesome forensics is like your video about debate? Uh, to answer the second question first, yes, I will, <laughs> eventually. I, I, in case y'all didn't know, I actually like forensics much more than, than debate, so of course I want to do a video about that one instead. Um, about the first one, my favorite Avatar The Last Airbender character is Aang, and I think I liked him from the get-go just because he was fun, and he was, like, you know, the main character, and I totally wanted to be him when I was a kid, because I was like, it's so cool, he's like the Avatar, but he doesn't want to be, but he's still, like, cool and playful, and, like, you know, and when he finally, like, you know, near the end of the series was able to be super powerful and, like, you know, willing to save the world, I was like, oh my gosh, he's such, I, I don't know, I, I just really, really like him. Um, by the way, since I know know who wrote this comment. Do you remember when we were at um, that, well, you know whose house it was, but I think the first episode of Avatar you ever saw was the one with, uh, it was the puppet master with the old lady and the blood bending. I hope that wasn't the first one you saw, but I'm pretty sure it was. So again, hopefully that didn't scar you and you've been able to watch the rest of the series, or if you haven't, please do, because it is really good. I, I promise. Since your name is all one word, I'm going to say it real fast. Evolution of Pi asks, what are some of your tips for beginning artists slash animators? Um, draw every day because that's how you get better. And I know everybody always says that, but it's true, man. I mean, if I didn't draw every day or at least every other day, there'd be no way I could be at the level I am now. And I still have a lot to improve, as you can probably tell from the art in this video. But yeah, take your work seriously. Um... And just have as much fun with it as possible if you can. It doesn't matter what program you use as long as you know how to use the one you're using well. Trust me. Ender the Sniper asks, which state do you live in? Um, it depends on the day. Sometimes it's apathy. Sometimes it's fear. Sometimes it's denial. Sometimes it's anxiety. But, <laughs> okay, in all honesty, it really does depend. See, I grew up in Kansas, and I currently go to school in Missouri, and I'm switching back between the two all the time. So, um, I live in Kansas, Missouri, if you will. Pearl3636 asks... What was your favorite movie slash TV show as a kid? And what outfit do you think Cookie looks the best in? Um, my favorite TV show when I was a kid, I loved Avatar. I've mentioned that in a past video. Um, I also really loved Spongebob. And even I, at, at the ripe old age of 10, knew when the show started going downhill. That, that says a lot, guys, let's be real. But no, but classic Spongebob, seasons one through three, still good stuff. Um, favorite movies? Um... I watched a lot of Disney movies growing up, a lot of Pixar films. I don't know if I have a favorite from back in the day, because the ones I consider my favorites now, a lot of them I didn't watch until middle school or later, but I don't know, just pretty much a lot of Disney movies when I was a kid. I, again, don't really have a favorite. Um, my favorite outfit Cookie wears is the Christmas sweater, and it's the one I always make her wear around Christmas, and she hates it. 
I mean, loves it, of course. It, it's obvious from the video. She loves it. Um, but yeah, her m my favorite thing of hers is definitely Land the Christmas Shark Gamer sweater. asks, how did you get into or start animation? Um, I've always been interested in cartoons my whole entire life, but I'd say it was maybe around middle school, early high school, that I started actually dabbling and doing various animations, but they weren't, like, actual videos or anything. They were, like, little GIFs. And I remember the first time I actually tried and, like, did a uh, solid start to my quote-unquote animation career was um, I was on DeviantArt back in, I want to say, about ninth grade-ish, and I decided I wanted to make little emoticons, like little emotes, because on DeviantArt, there, I don't know if there is any more, but there used to be this huge community of people who would just make their own emotes, and people could use them. And so I decided to make a couple, and they're incredibly simplistic and ugly, but, I mean, they were charming to say the least. And I think those were kind of my first start to, like, you know, the animation process, and I started making a lot of GIFs using this uh, free website called, what, what's it called, Ezimba? I believe, E-Z-I-M-B-A, and you can just upload a couple of different frames and make very, very simplistic little GIFs. No sound or anything, but that's how I really started doing a lot of my early stuff before I made videos, but, you know, now I have an actual animation pro- well, okay, I have an actual program that I can use to make animations, but, yeah, I guess those were where I really, really got my start. So, there you go. <laughs> Thanks again, everybody. Uh, by the way, it turns out there was another glitch in the schedule, so I have another week next week to do an extra video. I think what I'll do is I'll actually just, you know, do a mini animation. Maybe not like a kid ninja, but like an actual, like, one, like my regular episodes featuring me. But, you know, it'll be a mini one, so, I don't know, mystery, we'll see what that is. Anyway, bye.